Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'll be showcasing a puzzle map for Halo 3. The structure of this video is going to be a little bit different than my previous videos. First I'm going to give a brief overview of the map, and then I'm going to show a walkthrough of all the puzzles. So I don't know if this map is really considered a puzzle map, because it has some platforming, a maze, some other obstacles, but for the sake of the video, I'm just going to refer to it as a puzzle map. Back in the original Halo 3, I used to make a bunch of these maps. Unfortunately, none of it carried over from Halo 3, so I decided to remake a new one for MCC a couple years ago. And that's the map that I'm sharing today. There's two versions of this map. One of them is the intended way of playing, the other is kind of an easier version of it. The intended version of the map is called the Weasel Formula. Now, don't ask me what Weasel Formula means. Just don't ask me what the name means. I, I, I do not want to explain it. I just want you to know when you're playing the map, you're going to be like, Oh, a real weasel made this map. What a funny guy. And the game mode is Goofball. It's because I use Oddball, and a real, a real Goofball made this map, if you know what I mean. <laughs> hey. This version of the map does not use any checkpoints, and you only have one life per round. Now, I have an easier version of the map, but this is the unintended way of playing. The map is called Baby Formula. The reason why it's called Baby Formula is because it's babyfied, it's for babies. And that's because you have infinite lives and there's checkpoints. The game mode you're gonna want to use is Goofball Easy, and Easy is in brackets because it's easy. You can actually play this map with friends, in fact, it's encouraged that you do. It's more fun to play with friends and you can mess up their jumps and, you know, be a complete delinquent. The only rule is that you have to be on the same team. And the reason for this is because if you go into these jump maps that you see online, a lot of the time it's players just killing each other for no reason and not playing the map properly, so this is to avoid all of that. Just a quick overview, the map is split into these sections. It starts with this platforming area that's pretty simple but has a lot of little tricks to it. The next part is a maze that has teleporters. Some of the teleporters lead you to either of these two rooms, or it leads you somewhere else in the maze. The next part is an underground hallway with these traps in the walls. They're pretty obvious. And then the next part is back in the sky, and it has grab lifts. The ultimate goal is to reach the oddball at the end. You only have to hold it for one second. Now, if you're interested in playing this with friends, and you don't want to be spoiled, I recommend you stop watching the video now, and you go try it out. But, if you already played the map, or if you're stuck, then continue watching the walkthrough. This is the walkthrough right now, so, so click off. Or don't. Okay, here's the walkthrough. The intended way of playing is one life per round, and that's because this platforming area is orchestrated to be full of tricks. And what I mean by that is, you could see these random grab lifts spawning to mess up your jumps. And eventually, when you get to this platform, that platform, you actually can't make the jump. You have to wait for the grab lift to spawn. But if you go through the map at a decent pace, you're not going to know that. And you're going to try to jump and you'll die. This was created to, to piss people off. I actually do this trick a second time. But look what I do here. The grab lift actually spawns early, so you say, Oh, he's doing the same trick. I'm not gonna fall for that. But in reality, if you actually get on this grab lift, it's gonna overshoot you and you're gonna die. Isn't that funny? Isn't that really funny? What you have to do is wait for the second man cannon to spawn. Ah. As we're waiting, I just want to say in my previous video, I made a joke about going through a divorce and cheating on my wife. That never happened. I'm not married. Now this part's also funny. You see this teleporter here? It's actually blocked. So if you try to go through it, you'll actually fall to your death and die. What you'll want to do is get the sniper and actually unblock the teleporter. If you're playing on the easy version of this map, this is actually the first checkpoint. Next is the underground maze. As you could see in this room, you could see the warthog through the glass. This is a pretty simple puzzle, you just have to go through the maze, go on the opposite end, and then blow up the fusion coil. The explosion will push the warthog up against the wall, and then you could interact with the turret and go through the wall. The next part is the underground obstacle thing, it's very easy. So this is how I used to build these trap walls, and I found out now there's a better way that looks a lot cleaner and less obvious. Uh, it's too late, and I am not remaking this map. 
This last part is fun to play with friends because you could accidentally kill your teammates behind you. It's pretty funny. Now we're back in the sky. You could unlock the second checkpoint here by throwing the grab lift here. Just be careful where the blocks land. So in forge mode, there's actually a grid here, and the grab lifts actually land on the grid. So in custom games, it looks like the grab lifts are actually floating. What you want to do is create a bridge to jump across. If you can, you should save a grab lift for when you get to the other side to make this jump. This next part is pretty simple. I don't really consider it a puzzle. I just thought it was kind of neat. You just shoot the fusion coils and then you walk around the path. And that's it. Now you collected the oddball. That's great. I hope you're proud. Round over. That's it for this video. I'm going to be releasing another puzzle map video for Halo Reach. And after that, I'll be focusing on Halo Infinite maps. Thanks for watching and have a good one.